Hey guys, a very very warm welcome to my session. I hope all of you guys are having a super amazing day going on. So if you guys are new here, that means you do not know me. My name is Mohan, Master Teacher of Science from Vidantu. And what exactly are we going to be learning today? And I know you guys have been waiting, you know, waiting crazily like when is the class is going to start? When are, you know, the chapters going to start? Because it's already started in my school, sir. The book looks so big, sir. I'm so scared. Don't you worry when I am here. <laughs> All right. So today's class, we are starting with our first physics chapter. That is force and pressure. One of the easiest chapter. All right. One of the interesting chapter also. And we are all going to learn it just like this. So if you guys are new here, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button. Also click on the like so that so that you can enjoy all of the other sessions as well on this amazing channel. Okay, so topic for today or the chapter for today, we're starting with force and pressure. Now, this is your part one. All right, so what before that, we always start with the beautiful quote. Now, this quote is very special to me. Okay, one kind word can change someone's entire day. Trust me, guys. Okay, sometimes we'll be very sad. Okay, many times we don't know why we are sad, but we'll be very sad. And one person comes to us and he is like, hey, bro, are you OK? Don't worry, everything is going to be all right. How do we feel? We feel so good, isn't it? So a small kind gesture, a small kind word can brighten up our entire day, can make our mood very good. So make sure that you guys are all kind to everybody, no matter who it is. Everybody, your parents, your friends, your teachers, to me also, da, be kind, some kind comments you give. Okay, be kind to people. <laughs> all right, all right, next one. So if you guys are there on Instagram, don't forget to follow me. My Instagram handle is learn underscore with underscore Mohan. Yes, that's me. So follow me right away. But for what? Because you will get to know all the updates about what are the upcoming sessions. Not just that, I'll also be interacting with all of you over there on Instagram. I'll go live there. And you can also personally connect to me over there as well for your doubts and everything. Okay, now. Let's go forward and see what are all the different subtopics that is there in this amazing chapter. So in the entire chapter, we'll be covering force. What exactly is it? Then contact forces and non-contact forces. We'll also learn about pressure. Pressure applied by liquids and gases. That is, we'll specifically learn how pressure is applied by liquids and how speci uh, specifically pressure is applied by gases as well. All of that we'll try to learn in a very fun way, like how these kids are playing. Now I'm going to help these guys. All right. We'll see how force is involved in a lot of things in our day to day life. Okay. So today specifically, we'll be learning about what? What is force? A push or a pull? Forces are due to interaction. We'll explore forces and we'll also try to understand contact forces and non-contact forces. So many things. Okay. So many things we'll try to understand. Chill, sit back, relax. Fine. What is this? What is this force? Force kya hota hai? Force na enna hai. Force andre eno. Force ante eni. Alright, for all of that questions you guys are having in your head, I'll tell you what force is. One day, I was about to fight my enemy in the school, okay? I was like, come on, da, today, May you come. I was about to punch him. Okay. Suddenly my friend called. I turned back. I'm like, wait, dude, I'm fighting there. I turned back. He gives me a punch. Boom. And I fell down. It was a very good punch. Okay. What did, what just happened? He applied a force on me. Right. He properly applied a force on me. So what exactly is force? He basically pushed me, right? So force is nothing but a push or a pull on an object. A push or a pull on an object. For example, let's say I am thirsty right now. Let's say I want to drink water because I'm talking continuously. Let's say, let me drink water. What am I going to do? I'm going to apply some force. I'm going to pull the cap up and drink. Now I'm going to again apply some force 
push the cap and close it right so a push or a pull on an object is called as force so can we tell that i just applied force on the bottle of course any anything wherever you apply a push or a pull it's because of the force it's basically force okay now force is applied by this boy why he is kicking that football look at that how good he is playing right so this person is applying force on the ball nice no but this thing never happened to me though <laughs> like when i was in school real story da real story we used to have 45 minutes ka pt break and they used to give us football and you know how amazing football game is you know why i started to hate football when i was in school they used to give us one ball everybody around the ball all 50 of my classmates around the ball kick nobody knows where the ball is going everybody closes their eyes and they starts kicking ball will be somewhere there will still be kicking <laughs> all right from that day i am like i am never playing football da i'll simply sit and watch you guys do this but i'll simply sit <laughs> tell me if it if it happens in your school also right people randomly kick all right so whenever we kick a ball we apply force right exactly the same thing that guy that golden hair guy is doing okay next let's see what all force can do right force can do a lot of things first things first okay force can change the state of a body or before that force can make an object move force can make an object which is at rest i am applying my force and moving it or force can stop a moving body the body is moving i am applying force and stopping it force can stop a moving body or force can change or or cause an object to change its position or shape also right for example if you take a paper the shape of the paper here is triangle right applied force the shape of the paper now is a ball see it can change its shape also look at that boom <laughs> my god next one now force why does force happen it's because of the interaction when two objects are interacting with each other okay when there are two objects basically see one person is pushing the car he is interacting with the car is applying he's pushing it two people <laughs> i don't know i think they are they are only playing football take i think two people are you know pushing each other they are applying some force we have one person who is pulling the cow like mm, mm, he's pulling it so he's applying some force and these two girls are doing this oh i remember this i remember this when i was in school my my friends you know my, my uh, friends who were there in the class the girls they used to play this they when we all used to kick the football i used to look there they used to be like ding 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 they used to play that okay so here also they are doing the they are applying some force <laughs> all right so two or more objects must interact for force to come into play a single object cannot do anything there should be two or more objects okay <laughs> next one all right sometimes when forces are applied in the same direction you have to add both the forces okay i'll tell you what is this check this out let's say there are two people here no this is one person and this is one person okay both of them me and my friend i am applying let's say 10 newtons my friend is also applying 10 newtons newton is what we use to denote the force unit of force now towards which direction are we applying towards this direction let's say towards west both of us are applying force in the same direction so what can we tell we have to add both the forces so what will be the net forces the net force 
will be what? F1 plus F2 because it's in the same direction. What is F1? This is F1. This is F2. 10 plus 10 which is 20 newtons. What is the total force applied on the box? Is 20 newtons. Why? Because both of us are applying in the same direction. Got it? So when the forces are applied on the same direction, you have to add the forces. What about, what if they are applied in the, in the opposite directions? Let's see. Right. So if F1 and F2 are the forces applied, the net force will be F1 plus F2. The same thing I told you. Now, if they are applied in, on the same direction, add to one another. But if they are applied in the opposite direction like this, see. Okay, so this guy F1, he's applying towards this direction, towards east. This is F1. Let's say the same is 10 Newtons only. Even this person is applying towards this direction, that is west. Same, F2, which is 10 Newtons. Both of them are applying in the opposite directions, opposite to each other. So 10 Newtons minus 10 newtons whenever forces are applied in the opposite direction what do you have to do you will have to subtract the forces okay so the same thing so if this is this was 10 newton okay wait 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 so if that was 10 newtons and if this was also 10 newtons the net force would have been what the net force would have been f1 minus f2 right because they are in the opposite directions so it is 10 minus 10 which is 0 when the net force is 0 the box doesn't move the box will stay in the same place only got it the box will remain in the same place only simple as that now guys before we move on forward no i have a very very good news to share with all of you what is that good news because i know you know all this while when I was taking classes, there were a lot of students telling, Sir, we really want to take up the course, but it's pricey, sir. I, I'm not able to, you know, take up the course because of the price. Is there something that you can do for us? Right? Guess what? Guess what? Something very amazing came up. I'm pretty sure most of you guys are already aware of about what this is. And this is, guys, is the AI Live Classes. What is this AI Live Classes for grade 6 to 12? बच्चों के मार्क्स जितने कम आते हैं, पापा का वॉल्यूम उतना ही बढ़ जाता है। ये होती है पढ़ाई। पर कभी सोचा है कि मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी सिर्फ बच्चों की क्यों? अब वेदांतु मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी लेगा, वरना आपकी पूरी फीस वापस। I'll tell you what it is. What if I tell you? What if I tell you? You can get. You can get your end. For example, let's say you guys are in eighth, right? Your entire eighth. To ninth, your entire academic year for just four five double zero rupees. That's all for four thousand five hundred for the entire year for your science, English, math, all of these subjects, everyday classes, along with classes. You have a lot more amazing things for all of you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Check this out. Let me show you from where you can find these courses, okay? If you go to my video right now, no? You will find these links here. So look at this. You have grade 6, grade 7, grade 8 separate links. Click on grade 8 ka link. If you click on grade 8 ka link, we have our harsher who is smiling at us, right? So. For grade 8 CBSE 2022 to 2023, 400 hours of teaching, school ka full syllabus, study materials along with test series, lot of such things for your entire academic year, classes by top master teachers, in class doubt solving, 100% doubt solving happens in the class, live quizzes and leaderboard, test series with solutions, all of that just for 4,500 for one year. 
वन इयर माय गॉड चेक दिस आउट ओके देर आर थ्री प्लान अवेलेबल फॉर यू गाइज टू एनरोल वन इज AI life the one i'm talking about for 4500 for one year you'll be getting what you'll be getting live online classes by master teachers which is non life but it will not seem like non life because the technology that we use is going to be so good that you will be like are you sure he is not live it will make you question that for all of your doubts you will have live class teachers in the class itself along with all of you to specifically clarify your doubts so 100% doubt solving will happen in the class itself now you will have live in class quizzes and leaderboard assignments and class notes along with study materials what not all of this and in ai plus ai live plus you will be getting doubt solving app that is extra and the last one is the normal course the live pro where the master teacher is live and you will get all the other features as well but let's try taking up the ai live courses click on this buy now here if you use my coupon code which is mk pro mk pro you get additional 500 off right so it was 5000 it comes down to 4500 if you use my coupon code mk pro and you have all the other options credit card the net banking phone pay paytm amazon pay everything everything so all you guys have to do is sign up for the course guys because trust me this is something which you will never get for 4500 normal tuitions guys outside it's very costly for one subject it is unimaginable for all of your subjects you are getting for 4500 for one year everyday classes study materials assignments test series what not so do not forget to take it up do it right today okay right if you still have you know doubts regarding this you can definitely contact the whatsapp number which is which is displayed below for any of the doubts or any of the queries you might get for this okay now let's go back yes the you know where the link is right the link is right below my video right yep 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 yeah so any queries just have to send a whatsapp message to this number by this details there's also foundation courses guys i'll show you again later on okay now next one as i told you if two forces act in the opposite direction of an object the net act the net the net force acting on it is the difference between the two forces so f1 minus f2 if if the net force is zero the object is not moving got it now so if f1 is greater than f2 what will happen let's say in this case f1 is net force on the object is f is equal to f1 minus f2 yes so if f1 is applying 10 newtons again okay and this guy is applying only 5 newtons so who is applying more force f1 is applying more force F two is only applying applying five, so which side the object will move? The object will move towards this side only. Okay, so the net force on the object is going to be F one minus F two. That is ten minus five. It's going to be five. So object moves in the direction of F one. That is towards the right. Suppose if this is fifteen, what will happen? Then the object will move. Not not this side, but this side. <laughs> okay so whoever is whoever is using more force they'll be able to push the object that's all simple concept all right now a force can also change the state of motion for example a ball which is at rest begins to move when a force is applied for example golf golf ball is at rest what they'll do they will flick it what will happen the golf ball will fly away so object which was at rest flew it is in motion right now isn't it now it can also change the shape of an object when you apply force i told you the triangle was changed into circle it's gone somewhere <laughs> now guys so now let's talk about the types of forces that we have there are two types of forces one is contact forces the other one is non contact forces 
Under contact forces, you have muscular force, you have frictional force. I'll tell you what is the difference between contact and non-contact. In contact forces, the objects are physically in touch. For example, if I have to lift this bottle, I am touching the bottle, I am using my muscular force to take it. Right? I am physically touching it. Friction. Right? Friction is an opposing force that acts when objects are in contact with each other. So friction is also a contact force. Now, now non-contact force are magnetic force, gravitational force, electrostatic force are non-contact forces. See muscular force. You, you, are, you are touching it and lifting. The force resulting due to the actions of muscles is known as muscular force. Frictional force, the, the force responsible for the changing the state of motion of an object in all these examples. Right? Frictional force is always an opposing force. It opposes. For example, let's say there is a beautiful, there is, there is a beautiful, what? A, 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 a car. Beautiful car. Pom pom is the car. The car is moving towards, Gudu is driving it, car is moving towards this way. So what is happening? The tires are in touch with the floor. There is physical contact between the tires and the ground. Right? Friction acts. Friction acts always in the opposite direction. So it's west. This is east. So the motion Motion is towards this side, friction is towards this side. Okay, simple. Now, next one. Electrostatic force. This is all non-contact forces. Comb attracting pieces of paper. If you rub your comb on the hair and then pieces automatically come. Right? Lightning which is striking the earth. That is also an example of electrostatic force. So the force exerted by a charged body on another charged body or an uncharged body is known as electrostatic force. We'll be learning about these forces detailly, don't worry. The gravitational force, if I throw something up, automatically comes down. Right, see, I'm, what is the force pulling it down? Gravity is pulling it down. Is gravity in contact with the pen? No, still the pen comes down because gravitational force is also a non-contact force. Earth is exerting force on the moon. Sun is exerting force on the earth. See, they are not in touch, but still they are exerting gravitational force. So gravity is a non-contact force. Got it? Simple as that, guys. So yeah, that is all for today, guys. And by the way, before you guys leave, wait. I have a homework for all of you, an assignment for all of you. I have added some amazing questions for all of you guys to solve. In the V quiz that is given right below my video, there is a link for V quiz. Click on that V quiz, take up the quizzes. The quiz questions are so fun because I want to know how well you guys have understood in today's class. And also you guys will get to know a clear idea about how much you have learned in today's session. So make sure you guys all attempt the V quiz and see for yourself how much you guys have learned today. And I'll also see who gets on top of the leaderboard, who answers all the questions correct. I'll also check it out. Okay, and this is for joining a Telegram group guys. Please do join to get all the updates regarding what happens on Vedantu Young Wonders. Now, yep. So we'll definitely meet up in the coming class where we'll be continuing this chapter. And I hope all of you had fun. But don't forget to miss. Do not forget to take up the V quiz that is given right below my video right away. Now, I want to show you one more thing that is for foundation courses also, right? Forgot to show you. For foundation courses, you can find the link here itself, guys. See? For JE Need Foundation courses, click on the same link. Again, so 4,500, take up the entire year ka course. Okay, click on this, use the coupon code MKPRO and you can take up the courses right away. All right, so I hope all of you had fun guys. We'll definitely meet up in the coming session. As I told you, do not forget to hit on the subscribe button. Do like the video and until then, this is me Mohan signing off. All of you take care, stay safe and stay as lovely as always you guys are. Bye-bye, don't forget the week wisdom. Okay, bye. एग्जाम से पहले घर वाले शुरू हो जाते हैं। बता दो पीलो बेटा। 
मार्क्स के लिए ना टिप्स हर कोई देता है इसलिए वेदांत तो इम्प्रूवमेंट प्रॉमिस अब वेदांत तो मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी लेगा वरना आपकी पूरी फीस वापस